if you've ever made a bad decision, look back and how your mind tries to rationalize how you made that bad decision. Why did I get in that relationship? Why did I make invest in that thing? Uh, uh, program that i didn't like or um buy this car that i you know that was way too expensive for me or or not nice enough or something like why do we do all that and we can drive ourselves crazy trying to think about how we made that decision and beat ourselves up from that decision but that makes it easier that we didn't make it the ego didn't make it that it's part of our karma that what we're really seeing is it's but much deeper than you like i think it's it's freeing in a way uh from guilt and shame what frees us from guilt and shame when we make bad decisions because we know we didn't make them consciously but then it's also it feels powerless because then we're like well who is making that decision and how do i tap into that decision making process so i can create the life i want yeah and and so well if we look at uh, some of the most advanced systems like uh the upanishads and, and the yoga system right the yoga philosophy of the mind body uh, what they were saying is that as long as you're not perceiving the truth directly you're you're essentially projecting your own conditioning your own assumptions like we were saying your own past experiences unto the present moment then you're not seeing reality Mm -hmm. what you're seeing is your your own conditioning right it's an apparent reality yeah yeah in a sense you're creating your own reality by bringing all that baggage of past experience into the moment uh it's very much tied to karma what what is in the east called the karmic imprint or your your stored up karma you're bringing it into the the present moment so for example if you're worried about something that hasn't happened yet what you're really doing is your mind is bringing in all the karma from how what you believed in the past about what would what may maybe the worst case scenario of what what can happen and you're uh, creating a hell in your mind before it even happens. It's what they call it pre-suffering. Have you heard of that? <laughs> Worry is pre-suffering. Like you're, you're worried and so you're already suffering. Yeah. And how many times have we done that where we worried so much and we spent so much of our energy suffering when there was when everything turned out okay you know it's just like i wish we all wish we can go back to our younger self and say it's gonna work out you know you're gonna be fine that problem that you thought was so big when you were 10 or 12 or 17 or 30 you're going to overcome that but in the moment it just we're playing off that we're making a world or a perception of a world that is not really real but it's but it's an experience that we're having that's taking us away from the true nature of reality and yeah. so it keeps us stuck in this idea of suffering worry and yeah we're essentially just replaying uh the old programs mm-hmm. uh, that were <laughs> like a instilled in us by conditioning by mm. by let's say the mind and, and the mind is doing its job in other words it, it, we don't consider even that pathological because it's that's what it's meant to do it's meant to to help you learn from your past experiences so that you're ready if it happens again you you're ready you learned it Mm -hmm. right you learned the lesson the only problem is that if you never get to the point of consciously retraining your mind you're stuck there you Mm -hmm. just replay the same old patterns Uh, Mm -hmm. what Jung would say well you're you're stuck in the persona you're thinking I am the persona. I'm this uh, this uh, app uh, or this uh, avatar that I created for myself, and that's that's as far as I go. So I, you're saying the solution is to retrain the mind. Absolutely, you have to. But isn't there a higher level that you want to go to than just think positive? Yes, because what retraining your mind will do is it'll give you a direct experience of the true reality or so, the true nature so of reprogramming are you yeah, saying repro- reprogramming or training your mind to be more uh, conscious well let's say retraining or reprogramming will open up your eyes okay because think of it this way well you have to learn to perceive like you said the brain is 
the uh, the uh, organ of perception. That's right. So the so what we want to do is retrain the brain to perceive the world differently. Yes, to understand what is perception. 